What is going on, Supreme Family? What is going on? If you can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop a number one for me, all right? If you guys can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop a number one in the chat section, and I'm ready to go ahead and get going, man. We have a lot of things that we're going to be covering today. I'm going to be reviewing your guys' stores, giving you tips and pointers on what you guys need to do to be successful with dropshipping and get the conversions that you guys are looking for. I'm ready for it. I see Jason in the house. I see Michelle, Danish, Perky. What is going on, everybody? Happy to have you guys in here, all right? Happy to have you guys in here. Let me go ahead and see. You guys can see me? Perfect. All right. We are officially live. We're going to go ahead and wait on a couple more people to go ahead and join in. But for everybody who is in here, if this is your first time ever in a live Q&A with me, go ahead and say first time in the chat section. All right. And if it is, I put on these live Q&As every single Wednesday covering specific topics that you guys may be needing some more support in. And today, I'll be reviewing your product pages so that you're able to maximize on the customers coming into your store to help you keep generating the sales that you deserve and really helping you grow your online business, no matter your experience level. I'll also be answering guys' questions that you may be having throughout this live Q&A about your Shopify stores so you can leave this live more confident than you came in. If that sounds good with you guys, go ahead and drop the number one for me, all right? If that sounds good with you guys, go ahead and drop the number one. While we are waiting on some more people to join in, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I love to know what you, uh, where you guys are tuning in from and what got you started in dropshipping. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below, okay? I want to hear from every single one of you guys right now where you are tuning in from. Let me know in the chat section. Let me know in the chat section. I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below. All right. And we can even go this far. Tell me why you have got started dropshipping. What is your why? Because my why is to create generational wealth and be able to create financial freedom, not just for myself, but for other people as well. That is my why. I want to hear from everybody in here. What is your why? All right, we got Dallas in the house. We got Miami. We got UK. All right. I love to see it. We got New Jersey in the house, Nebraska. We got Africa, Houston. What is up, y'all? What is up? I'm also going to drop another question down below to rate your experience level so I do have a better understanding of everybody in here. Now, like all the people who are telling me this is their first time in this live Q&A with me, I'll let you know right now, this is very interactive. So Anna, Shakeli, Dovid, Clinton, this is not pre-recorded at all. It is Wednesday, June 14th, 12.02 p.m. And I do this live. I'm very interactive because I want to make sure that you guys are watching, paying attention, grabbing your pens and papers and taking notes and ready to implement. If you're ready to implement today, go ahead and let me know in the chat section, all right? I'm ready, man. We got. I want to create financial freedom for me, my family, Nigeria, and Africa. I love that. I don't want to be an employee. I want to be a, a financially free. Lakeisha is saying financial freedom and traveling with my family. Joyce is saying I need financial freedom for my family. Luis wants to have an online business, all right? More family time. All these things is the exact reasons why I started dropshipping. Five years ago, I knew what I wanted to do was find out any way that I could make money 24 hours a day, make money in my sleep, create financial freedom, and give myself a better life as well as my family. Now, you guys all know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. So now that I do have a kid, I never wanted to make him have to deal with the same type of outcome of what I had to do with, uh, deal with while I was growing up and give him a better life by changing the standard and creating this real generational wealth. So that is mine, all right? I'm happy to hear you guys in here. Jason saying he's a newbie in here, taking notes, and he's ready to implement. Um, I'm seeing Shakeli in here, have a couple questions. I love to see that. If you guys are going to be dropping your store links today and you're wanting me to review your uh, Shopify stores, go ahead and drop a number one. If you do not have a Shopify store open yet, go ahead and drop a number two, all right? All right, I like that. Now, I think we have a good amount of people in here, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I know that a lot of you guys just got in, so just to reiterate, I will be doing these lives over specific uh, subjects every single Wednesday, so you guys can be able to get the most support that you deserve. Now, the value does not stop there because I'm also going to be giving out a giveaway today. And this giveaway is to give you an inside look of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Getting on a one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team for absolutely free, hopping on Zoom and be able to look at your, uh, your store, your products, your ads, and help you out with anything 
anything that you may be having questions over. Also, after this call, giving you a 2023 success plan that is tailored to you so that you know exactly what steps to take from this call to get the success that you deserve. And thirdly, some free Supreme Ecom merch. So if you're going to stay to the very end today and you're ready for this giveaway, say, I'm going to be here to the end, uh, AC. All right? Let me know, man. Let me know. I'm ready to go ahead and jump into this today. Now, one thing I want to go ahead and mention before we go ahead and jump into it is for everybody who wants to be a part of our Discord, we do have a public free Discord channel readily available for you guys, okay? If you're wanting to be around other people who are like-minded, other people who you guys can be learning from, and be around my team and everybody, okay, this is where you guys can be taken advantage of. It's an absolute free channel okay it's an absolute free channel and i want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to our student of the week uh you guys can see we have just highlighted alex v okay alex v is the student of the week i give students of the week uh students of the week out every single week and my boy was able to generate fourteen hundred dollars in sales completely with no prior experience starting as a complete beginner within his two weeks of advertising his two weeks of advertising with a 22% profit margin. So I want you guys to go ahead and say congratulations to my boy, Alex. Like I said, man, we, we, we really do this. I mean, you guys can see all the success that we've been having in here all the time. I mean, students coming in here generating $4,000 in sales within their first you know, two weeks advertising here as well, right? We do this. So uh, this is a public Discord channel. My team is above. You guys can see their name is Supreme Ecom. Uh, they're going to go ahead and drop the link down for you guys, all right? They're going to go ahead and drop the link down for you guys, but I'm ready to go ahead and get into this, all right? Now, before we get into reviewing your guys' stores, because I hear some of you guys saying you want me to review your stores, and I hear some of you guys also saying that you don't have a store yet, all right? I do want to talk about some key things when it comes to creating a successful online dropshipping business and a successful product page that's really going to convert customers. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by telling you guys the type of store that I start. Now, if you guys don't have a Shopify store open yet, you guys can go ahead and check out this link down below. I'm going to go ahead and drop it. This is going to allow you guys to be able to get started, okay, uh, using Shopify for three months, only costing you one single dollar, all right? One single dollar. So I hope that you guys, if you want to take advantage of it, I'm going to go ahead and post that down below. Again, three months only costing you a dollar, no credit card required, and you're able to, uh, and you're able to really get started with an absolute free trial. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below for you guys, for anybody who does not have a Shopify store. By the way, we don't try to do this at Supreme Ecom. We actually do this. I want you guys to show me some other one of your favorite gurus who's on Shopify's homepage. Okay? We don't try to do this. We actually do this. But, okay, let's go ahead and write this down real quick. Is There's three types of stores that you can start. Okay? Three types of stores that you can start. And yes, I'm going to be reviewing some of your guys' product, uh, some of your guys' stores here in a second, but I want to give you some valuable information and some valuable examples, even show you some of the apps that I'm using so that when I actually do review your store, you can see what the expectations are that I have and the expectations that you should have for yourself so that you could be uh, really hitting at least a 2 to 3 or 4% conversion rate um, on your store. All right? There's three types of stores that you guys can start, right? There is a general store. This is one that I typically recommend doing, okay? A general store is really great because it allows you to test more efficiently. It allows you to keep things moving and you can keep updating it throughout the seasons and trends that are happening. You don't have to build a new store every time you want to sell a product. And honestly, it really helps you get the foundation of dropshipping in while keeping you versatile and keep you uh, in demand, right? So when you are a beginner, I recommend that you are starting off with a general store. And by the way, if you guys have questions, I will be opening up the floor to a Q&A here in a second, but my team will also be replying back to you guys, okay? So my team, Supreme Ecom, will also be replying back to you guys down below uh, for any questions that you guys may be having. But again, the type of store that I recommend is a general store. Examples of a general store are very, very easy. Here's one example of my general store right here. Uh, this is one that I was running in the springtime. You can see it was highlighting the spring season, the springtime, everything that was happening during this time frame, right? This is a general store, okay? On a general store, I recommend only using three colors max. Black, white, and one separate color, okay? One separate color. This is so that you're making your general store a nice, clean, high professional store layout. It's, it's not looking like it's really spammy or something that is old or something that you shouldn't trust from buying from, okay? This is where you guys want to be taken advantage of, all right? 
Now, let me know right now, guys. Is my live... Are you guys seeing me right now, clearly? Are you guys seeing on the screen what you guys are seeing? Drop the number one for yes or drop the number two for no. Okay, before I continue, are you guys seeing me clearly? Are you hearing me clearly? Drop a number one for yes or drop a number two for no. Clinton can hear me. All right, Clinton, you're with me, my boy. All right, let me know. Can you guys hear me? I'm seeing a couple of number ones. Sherry says she can hear me. Seems like we're good to go. Everyone's saying they can hear me. Perfect. Three colors max, black, white, and one separate color. I want to walk you through my store. This is my home page. Okay, with my home page, the main thing I'm highlighting with my uh, my home page is the spring or or sorry, is the season that's currently happening. So I want you guys to be writing this down right now and say I have wrote this down. I want to hear from Okasun, Brandy, Danish. I want to hear from Shanti, Luis. Write this down. Is your store with a general store should be highlighting seasons and trends. Okay? Just like when I come over here and I type in Walmart, just like when I come over here and I tar and I type in Target, what are they highlighting? They're highlighting seasons and trends like Father's Day. They're highlighting seasons and trends like things that involve the outdoors for summertime. They're highlighting seasons and trends, okay, like the summer. I mean, all these different things, outdoors and grilling and backyards and patios, all things that when I come over here and I look at on Google Trends, okay, these are the same things that I'm seeing are happening right now, okay? These are all things that are happening right now. So you want to make sure that your store is highlighting and seeing the seasons and trends just like this, okay? If that makes sense, drop the number one, okay? Summer, Father's Day, you know, you guys can do outdoors and patio, okay? You see outdoors is starting to uh, rise. You can see patios are, you know, patio and all this stuff is uh, going crazy. You can see swimming, all these trends that are happening, all right? Then I'm going to break, break it down with the actual description of my store, okay? Saying, hey, here's our spring season. Here's our spring sale. This is a great place for you guys to be able to take advantage of this, all right? So with this, you want to make sure that this is neat. It is professional. You have clear images. You have GIFs. You have not a ton of text or images. Uh, you kind of have a good mix of both, all right? Like I said, three colors max, black, white, one separate color. Now, if you guys don't know where to get images on your store, I do recommend you guys coming over here and you guys can type in pixels.com and you guys can type in like swimming, right? If this is the season and trend that's happening right now, you can put these type of things on your store. If it's summertime, right, you guys can put this type of stuff on your store. Any of these are free non-copyrighted images that you guys can be taking advantage of that you guys can be using on your store. If that helped you guys out, drop the number one for me. All right, drop the number one. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a mission statement on my store. So, again, we're going to have our announcement bar that highlights the season and trend. We're going to be highlighting basically with images as well as our seasons and trends inside this statement area right here. Then we're going to come down to our mission statement, and then we're going to come down to the main feature product that we are selling. Okay the main feature product that we're selling, and then we can come down to a collection of products that go with the season and trend that you're highlighting as well. Okay, this is how I'm highlighting my home page. is making sure I'm taking advantage of this. Now on my product page, this is a little bit different. Okay, on my product page, this is where I'm gonna be naming my product. So I really like naming my product to give myself that customizable feel against my competitors. Jason, Maggie, Salah, Okasen, Joyson, Victor, Cherish, are you with me? Is this making sense? Okay, David, Hilaire, Shanti, I want to hear from you guys if this is making sense. And also make sure, guys, smash the like button down below because once this video reaches 250 likes, I will be giving out a second giveaway winner and I'll also be giving out another giveaway. Okay, a second giveaway winner, but I'll also be posting this on my channel after this. So make sure you guys are uh, smashing the like button down below. And a lot of you guys are asking me about the apps that I use on my stores and more. Guess what? I already got you covered. All right? I already got you covered. So like I said, first thing I like doing is naming my product. The second thing I like doing is having a compare price and a selling price. Okay? So look, Salah and look, Shakeli. 
Nobody wants to feel like you're gonna they're gonna come to your store, see something like this that says summer sale, 50% off, and then they come to the main product that you're selling and there's no deal, right? You wanna make sure that there is a compare price and a selling price. I typically like doing 50% off, okay? When I click on a variant, I want it to take me to the variant itself. I like seeing images that have white backgrounds behind them showcasing the product. Maggie, you with me? Shanti, listen, I wanna have a white background. This is looking very high professional, is very high quality, and it's just showcasing the actual product itself. You guys can have other images down because this is very, very, very important that you guys understand it. How I start every, okay? How you should start every product description is solving a problem, okay? It's solving a problem. I want you guys to understand this. It's solving a problem. And then after that, okay, it's gonna go feature slash benefit plus text plus gift slash image. Write this down. Cherish the type of themes that I like using are any of the free themes, okay? Free Shopify themes. You guys can be taking advantage of this. If you guys, uh, what themes are you guys running with right now on your store? Let me know right now. Let me know right now, guys. What are the type of themes that you guys are running on your store right now? I'll give you guys some of the themes that I personally like using. But let me know what type of themes you guys are using on your store right now. Stupid Pigeon's like, hey, that thing looks clean. Hey, I'm trying to tell you guys, this is how we are converting. Okay, I'm converting at 5 6% conversion rates. I'll show you right now a store that generated over $300,000 in a month. Actually, it might have been this store that had a four over a 4% conversion rate. Okay? And this is my store right here, okay? Look, this same store, I'm trying to tell you guys, this same exact store was doing stuff like this only only really a couple months ago. Look at this, 4% conversion rate, $305,000 in a single month, okay? So how I'm doing this is, again, highlighting the problem right away, okay? I'm not running this store right now, but this is a store I ran in the past, okay? You guys can see that this has a description highlighting this, the same thing in the, uh, that I'm highlighting in the feature and benefit, and then a gift for image. Then I'm going to have an image again, and then I'm going to have a feature and benefit, and a text explaining the feature and benefit. I'm gonna do this again. I'm going to have a text. I'm going to have the images and the features and benefits going towards this, okay? So this is how I work all of my stores. Every single time. Now, the type of theme that I'm using on my store, just so you guys know, I forgot to go into that, is I like personally just using the Sense theme, okay? The Sense theme is absolutely free. It is... Um, it is this it is this theme right here. All right, let me know. You guys are saying it's a little choppy in here. Let me know if it's a little choppy. I'll wait a second. Okay, I will wait a second. Is it a little choppy? If we're good to go, you guys see me clearly drop a number 1. I'll wait a second. Okay, I'll wait a second. Conversion rate does matter because conversion rate is the number one factor that you need to be knowing when it comes to the success of your dropshipping store. You want to ensure that you are always, always looking at your conversion rate just like you are looking at the KPIs of your ads. All right. Now look at this. Okay. Now the next thing is you guys are going to probably be wondering, okay, what type of apps should you guys have on your store? So I want you guys to tell me right now what apps do you guys use on your store? What apps do you guys recommend? But in the meantime, while we're doing that, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the giveaway. Okay, again, I'm giving out a giveaway today for everybody who stays to the end, and I'm going to announce it at the very end today. And here is the giveaway instructions. I'm going to go ahead and drop them down below for every single one of you guys, all right? So here is the giveaway instructions. This is what you're going to be able to get, all right? And by the way, I'm going to be reviewing your guys' Shopify stores here in a quick second, okay? In a quick second. So I hope that you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready for real. But here is the giveaway, okay? Giving you an opportunity of winning a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call to get an inside look of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, 
By the way, yes, uh, I'll go into that in a little bit. The inside look of our one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Second thing you're going to get is a 2023 success plan that's tailored to you. And thirdly, is free Supreme Econ merch. Now, the only thing you have to do is go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Now, this is my only Instagram right here. There's a lot of fake accounts out there. Even if you follow me, there might be some fake accounts that follow you. But again, this is my only Instagram. If it doesn't have a blue check, don't follow them. Okay, follow me. Scroll down to this video right here. I want you to like it. I want you to comment Wi-Fi bread. And I want you to come back in here and say the word done. Okay, and how I'm going to be choosing the winner is as simple as this. Okay, and by the way, on my on my Instagram, I'm constantly giving you guys amazing things that you guys can be taking advantage of. So not am I just dropping content on YouTube, but I'm dropping content on Instagram and TikTok and all over the place so you guys can be able to take advantage of it, okay? So like I said, follow me, scroll down to this video, like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. And this is where I'm going to be choosing the winner from, all right? This is where I'll be choosing the winner from. Now, let's go ahead and get into some apps real quick, okay? Let's go ahead and get into some apps real quick because with my apps, I want to show you guys how I set them all up, okay? The main apps that I'm using on my store, okay? One is definitely going to be Vitals, all right? If you guys do not have Vitals on your store, this is going to be great for you, okay? Vitals is an all-in-one all marketing tool that gives you like 30 apps in one. Now, this is why I like using it is because two main reasons why I like using Vitals, one, okay, is that it has, it speeds up the store, okay? It speeds up the store because less apps are on your store, okay? Less apps are on your store. Um, another reason why I like using it is just for cost efficiency. Instead of having to download a bunch of different apps, okay, I will just download this one app that has all the apps in one, okay? And by the way, if you guys want to try Vitals out, get a seven-day free trial, I'm going to go ahead and drop this down below for you guys, all right? But once you have Vitals downloaded, these are basically the main apps that I have on my store, all right? These are the main apps that I have on my store. I have the Currency Converter, all right? As you guys can see, I have Currency Converter on there. I have Product Reviews. I have Sticky Add to Cart, Visitors Replay, Upsell Builders, Size Charts, High Dynamic Checkout Buttons. These are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apps that typically you would download separately that I just personally recommend putting them all in one. And there's so many more apps that you guys can see. I'm going to go to all apps. I mean, literally, look at all of these apps that you guys can be taking advantage of. So when you're wondering what apps that I use on my store, Vitals is basically one of the main ones, okay? And you can see I'm still going, okay? I am still going. So I recommend, like I said, you guys check this out. I can even show you guys how I do one of them. For example, like my upsell builder, um, you guys can see that really... I mean, I have volume discounts on here. I have new product bundles on here. Um, this is really how I'm taking advantage of it. On top of that, I have Sticky Add to Cart enabled on it. So like at the very top of my page, you can see I have Sticky Add to Cart enabled. So anytime that I'm scrolling past my, uh, my Add to Cart page, you're going to be able to, um, you're going to be able to still see it, right? Visitors replays. This is really important because a lot of you guys wonder what is happening with my traffic? Why am I not converting? Why are people just going to the add to cart button and then dropping off? Well, the visitors replays helps you out with that because you ultimately can see everything that's happening. Custom currency converter, product reviews, and so much more. All right. These are the main things that I am looking for when I am running my store. And if this helped you guys out, I want you guys to drop the number one. This app is not free, but I am I just show uh sent you guys over how you guys can get a uh, seven-day free trial with them. I think the app is like $30 a month. But if you go out there and you download eight different apps, trust me, you're going you're gonna to be spending way more than $30 a month. But I went ahead and dropped that down below, all right? Now, I'm ready for you guys. I'm ready to be able to take advantage of this. I'm ready to start reviewing your guys' stores. Jason, I am seeing some of your questions about my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Like I said, guys, I am uh, opening up spots in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship currently. So if you are wanting to get on a free discovery call with my team, okay, I'm going to go ahead and post this down below for you guys. If you want to get on a free discovery call with my team and apply for the six spots that I have available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for this month, here's where you guys can be taking advantage of it, all right? 
Now, as you guys know, we take we teach TikTok ads, we teach Facebook ads, we give you a private supplier, we give you our high converting apps, our high converting themes, our scaling strategies. We take beginners, okay? It does not matter your experience level and guide you through every single step a through z while also giving you 24 7 7 day a week chat support so if you guys want to go ahead and take advantage of this you guys can apply for the limited spots available um right here on this website all right i'm gonna post this down below and you guys can be able to book a free discovery call with myself and my team uh to understand if you are a good fit because we don't focus on quantity we focus on quality and again it, it does not matter your experience level at all all right, we take complete beginners all the way from people already who have generated over 100K and looking to make over a million dollars with their uh, with their brand, all right? So I hope you guys take advantage of that. But I'm ready to review some stores. So now that you guys understand the expectations of what an actual good drop, uh, drop shipping store looks like that's going to hit you around, over the industry conversion of 2.5 to 3% on your store, I'm ready to review some of your guys' stores. So you ready for this? Daniel, are you ready for this? Obelar, all right, Nita, Cherish. Okay, let's get into it. Tanverse said, what do you recommend a branded store or one product store once you're an established job shipper? Not if you're an established job shipper, but if you have an established product, okay? I still run a general store every single day of my life. Guess what I do? I find products on my general store. I scale them on my general store. I make over $100,000 with revenue with this product on my general store. I then take the pixel and I move it over to a niche-focused brand. And then I start selling on that, product, on that brand, on that Shopify store, with the same pixel and data that I've already collected. And then guess what? I'm just on my general store finding more products and more products that I can brand with. All right? So I always recommend having a general store and making niche-focused brands out of it, okay? Just like, you know, you guys know one of my brands. I talk to everybody about it all the time, but, you know, Kush Cloud, right? This is one of my brands that I've found, all right, that I've discovered from my dropshipping store. And now you see I have an e-commerce brand around this, okay? These are one of the brands that I've created from my dropshipping stores, Okay? Let's go ahead and see what's up. Salah. Okay, you guys dropping your store links. You guys dropping your store links. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the first store real quick. And I want you guys to have your notebooks and pins out real quick because I'm going to go through it all. By the way, the main thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check out the actual product page. Okay, the actual product page. So Whatever product that you're selling is the main product I'm going to sell or I'm going to look at. But as you guys can see, this person right here doesn't have any products. But I do see that the uh, type of direction you're trying to take with this uh, with the store. I do like your homepage. But my main thing I want you guys to understand is this. Write this, write this down right now. 95% of your traffic is going to come to your product page and either buy or leave. So that means, yes, if you have a great homepage, that's amazing. But probably only 5% of your traffic is really going to see your homepage. So what I'm going to be doing when I'm reviewing your guys' stores is I'm going to be pulling up product pages, okay? So if you want to drop your store link down below and even do like a, a little arrow next to it and say, I want you to check out this product, I can definitely do that for you guys, all right? Let's go into Havamart. This is another person who just dropped something down below. Let's go into it. What is the main product that they're selling? I don't know. I'm just going to choose one for now. Um, let's go into this one real quick. Okay. So first thing I like is I like how you, how you have the actual banner of your store highlighting the sales that are happening. I would definitely name my product. I would name my product. I think that would go a long way for you. Okay. You're talking about color right here, but then you're talking about weight. So I don't really agree with this. Uh, this is not a good variant that is highlighting. If I'm thinking color, I'm thinking colors. If I'm thinking weight, I would put weight right here. So I would definitely take this out immediately. Um, one thing I'm noticing is that you do not have any type of upselling. So you need to always, always, always be upselling. So there needs to be things on your store like quantity break by discount. There needs to be things on your store like frequently bought together. There needs to be things on your store like sweet upsell for post-purchasing, okay? Your number one job, okay? 
your number one job as an advertiser, I want you guys to really understand this and drop the number one once you have wrote this down. Daniel, Shanti, Danish, Salah, Big Bass, okay, Green, Simone, I want you to write this down. Your number one job as an advertiser, okay, is to drive cheap, high quality traffic to your store. Your second main job that you need to be doing, okay, is increasing your AOV while you're getting sales. So converting and increasing your AOV. Every time that you guys have ever seen any of my stores, you might see I'm selling a product for $35, but my store says the AOV is $50. That's because I'm constantly upselling. You want to be getting the highest ROI and the best bang for your buck when it comes to to the traffic that you're driving to your store. So I want to make sure that you guys understand that is you wanna always constantly be upselling, okay? You wanna be making as much money as you possibly can. If that makes sense, I want you guys to drop the number one for me down below, okay? Your number one job as an advertiser is to drive cheap, high quality traffic. Your number one job as a, as a online store owner is to convert and have a increased AOV. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the store and go through the rest of it. I do like how you're asking a problem, okay? And then giving the solution, but I want you guys to also write this down because this will go a long way for you. There's two types of buyers. When you have wrote this down, said I. when you have wrote this down, this one, say I wrote this down, AC. There's two types of buyers, okay? Visual buyers okay people who just want to see gifts and videos and images and just see how the video and the product actually works okay and then written slash reader but reading buyers okay these are the other ones okay so on your store you don't want to just have a lot of text because nobody wants to feel like they're reading a novel but also on your store you shouldn't just have a bunch of images and gifts with no text you want to be having both so you guys can really put yourself in a position to take advantage of both audiences of people who come to your store. I mean, I'll ask you right now, Lisa, what type of buyer are you? Lisa, are you somebody who likes to read a lot about the product or you just want to see it? If it's good to go, you buy it. Jason, I want to know. Joyson, Abdul, Mr. 300 OG, I want to know from you guys. What type of buyers are you? Because I'm asking you that right now because in the chat section, you're going to see that there everybody's different types of buyers. Some people like really to read a lot about it and understand the description behind it, really understand, you know, should I spend my money about it? Other people just want to see it, okay? So let me know in the chat section. My girl Lisa in the house. So like I said, for this right now, all I'm seeing is just text. So I would be breaking this up with images and GIFs and doing things like that. Okay, by the way, yes, we do have that public Discord channel. Uh, my team's going to go ahead and drop this down below. Again, this is the public Discord channel right down below for you guys. Anybody and everybody can join it. And all of our services are inside this Discord channel as well. Like the hot products of the week, our university, our one-on-one -on -one mentorships, um, everything that we do and more. So like I said, it's a one-stop shop for you guys to be able to upload and continue to keep upgrading inside of uh, inside of our community. So yeah, definitely take advantage of it. And it's, re uh, it's right down below for you guys, for everyone who's asking. See, Maggie's saying, I'm a reader. I like the details. Joyce saying, I just want to see it. You know what I'm saying? So you want to you want to be able to do both. All right. As I scroll down the product, um, there's a couple things I like and a couple things I don't like. Is that the products that you are showing, well, for, first of all, there's no reviews. If you don't have reviews on your store, no one's going to buy the product. Period. 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 Okay. If you don't know where to get reviews from, go to Vitals. Okay. Vitals is going to show you guys where you guys can, uh, it's an app in, inside of Vitals that you guys can get reviews from. No excuse. Um, the products that you're upselling with, I like this one and I like this one because it goes with the main product that you're selling. But this one and this one don't at all. So I would only be upselling with cross-related uh, items, items that make, in our, make sense to be complementary with the main product that we're selling. And uh, that's, that's kind of what I would change about that store. Okay, let's see another store that you guys have for me real quick. We just did Havamart. 
We got Shakeli in the house. Shakeli, let me go ahead and check you out real quick. Let me know what main product is that you're selling, okay? Uh, it says connections private, so that is not working for me, uh, Shakeli. So I would probably send a different link in here if you can, so I can check it out. All right. Here we saw. Let's see the main product. Let's see the Gripster, for example. Okay. Having three colors on your store, I like it. Black, white, one separate color. Let me go ahead and move myself so you guys can see the rest of it. Okay, black, white, one separate color. I definitely like it. Um, one thing I would say is you have you do have your name of the product. I would get a little bit more views on your product. Um, you have the sticky add to cart right at the top. I wouldn't have the sticky add to cart show up until I make it. I guess it did show up when I got past the add to cart button. Um, yeah, quantity break by discount. I would simplify the hell out of this. So um, my quantity break by discounts are literally just buy two, get 10% off. Buy three, get 15% off. Buy four, get 20% off. I want to do this discount price is taking up too much space. Just only put these two columns inside of it. And I don't really ever start off at 5%. I always start off at 10%. Okay? Like I said, um, I do like seeing the colors of the products, or I, saw, I like seeing the variants of the products with a white background. Um, now, this is something that's very important. I like that I can, I can bring this up right now, is you need different font sizes. Okay? Do you see the difference in mine? See how this font size is bigger than this font size? You see how this font size is bigger than this font size, and the only thing I'm doing is bolding different words, okay? You guys want to make sure that you are having different font sizes throughout this. Now, before I even continue, okay, Simone, Amir, Clinton, Louise, okay, I want to know if you guys are actually paying attention. So I want you guys right now to review this store and for you to tell me things that you like about the store and things that you do not like about the store, and what would you make different? Because I want to make sure that you guys are paying attention. And right when you guys tell me yours, then I'm going to come back and say, do I agree or do I disagree? Okay? See, Luis is saying minimum reviews. Okay? Danish is giving some, def uh, some help as well. Okay? Danish was saying, uh, you know, might want to center those numbers. Okay? No takers are money makers. I want to know if you guys are paying attention. Okay? Hawa, Fizz, Clinton... Okay, let me know. What other things would you guys change? I'm going to scroll down one more time. Mr. 300, okay, what is going on that's too much? What, 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 what suggestions would you guys give? Fonts, organization, the reviews. Perky saying more reviews. Better product photos. I agree with all of you guys. I definitely 100% think the product uh, photos can be increased. I definitely think that the font and the product description can be a little bit better as well. And I think you should be bolding certain words inside of this uh, section right here. I think that more importantly, you should increase this product description. I think the products that you're upselling with don't make any sense for this product at all. This, 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 and this don't make any sense. All of these products do not go with this product at all. I like the, maybe said you guys should be adding the add to cart button as a different color. 100% I, I agree. This add to cart button cannot be white. It will be very hard for you to see it. Okay? And I'm doing this so that if you guys are listening to all these people who online shop, I know Luis be online shopping. I know Ivan be online shopping. I know Chris be online shopping. If you want a customer to buy from you, you need to think like a customer. Write that down right now for me. If you want a customer to buy from you, think like a customer. One thing I want to highlight in these reviews is every single review has to have an image and text correlated with it. If you do not have images on your reviews, you do not have text with your reviews, you should not put out your reviews. Period. Period. You should not be putting out your reviews at all. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull up another store here in a second. All right? But before I do that, I want to go ahead and give you guys another chance real quick to give yourself the opportunity of winning this giveaway today. And by the way, if this video reaches 250 likes, okay, 250 likes, I will be posting this on my channel afterwards, okay? So if you want this to be posted on my channel afterwards and you want to make sure that you guys can even 
get another giveaway because yes i'm gonna give another giveaway winner once this hits 250 likes on my video this friday okay take advantage of it but here's the giveaway instructions and here's what you guys are getting as a giveaway the first is an inside look of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship to give you guys a free one-on-one -on -one call to be able to look over your ads, look over your products, look over your store, help you out with anything that you guys may be having questions over. Okay, the second thing that we're going to give you is a 2023 success plan that is tailored towards you. And the third thing that you're going to get is some free Supreme Ecom merch. If you guys haven't checked out the Wi-Fi Bread merch collection, okay, go ahead and check this out, all right? This is the Wi-Fi brand merch collection. We have all different types of sizes. This is what we're going to be giving out today, all right? But listen, all right? How you guys can win that, again, is go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. I want you guys to, so I'm going to refresh my screen real quick, okay? I want you guys to go to this video right here. Let me go back real quick. Go to this video right here. Like it, comment the word live, or sorry, Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. And I will be choosing the winner, okay, as simple as this. Again, follow me, scroll down this video, like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. And how I'm going to be choosing the winner, again, is wherever my finger stops, okay? So I will be choosing the winner in about 10 minutes, okay? I see a couple of people in here, Black Bear, Santa, um, I'm seeing Jay Honey, I'm seeing all types of people taking advantage of it. So, like I said... Take advantage, all right? Now, by the way, guys, I am going through all your applications and everything and approving or declining you guys right at 1 p.m. today. So if you have applied for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for the six spots we have left, please say I have applied down below so I can make sure that I can reach out to you guys directly after this, all right? Let's go ahead and pull up another store, man. Let's go ahead and pull up another store. What other stores you guys got for me real quick? Lisa said, best mentorship ever. I love Supreme. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Lisa. That really does mean a lot. Okay? Let's go ahead and do this one. Let's see if it actually shows up Shows up this time, Shakelly. I'm going to see what I can do for you. Okay, uh, Shakelly, it's not working for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a different store. Um, let's go ahead and see what we're working with. All right? I really appreciate that. Visual and Reader, yes. Okay, Lance dropped his store down below. Salah dropped his store down below. Salah, I'm going to go ahead and knock you out. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can work with. Sim 1, site can't be reached. If I can't reach it, other customers can't reach it. We're going to the next one. Okay. Juvenzi. Okay, Juvenzi, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and see your main product that you're selling. With this store, one thing I want to recommend right away is like I never do anything besides a white background. So like you see how this is like a light gray background? I would keep this white like throughout the entire store. So again, guys, um, I just definitely don't recommend having anything besides a white background. Um, let's see. Summer Cell, I like that. Um, you named your product. I like that. Let me go ahead and see what this looks like. I would definitely... Um, I would capitalize the W in white, capitalize the B in black. You want to make sure this looks professional, right? You have pink capitalized. These little things, I'm telling you, go a long way. They will go a long way. Add a cart button. I would make sure that you are. Um, I would make sure that you are able to uh, highlight that. All of your images for your products don't are not really correlated. I'll be real with you. Again, look at mine. When I click on when I click on pink, look at the background. Look at the placement. When I click on neon green, look at the background, look at the placement. When you see olive green, look at the background, look at the placement. So you want to make sure that all of this is correlated with each other. Okay, where I'm clicking on yours and I'm going to black and it's this random image that is not even the same color or sorry, even the same dimensions as this. Okay, let's do it again as a group. Supreme Family, Clinton and Young and, and Soil and our RC and Joycein. Okay, as a family, because we are a family, what suggestions would you guys do for this store? As a family, okay? This is all positive advice. We are never here to put you down. We're only here to help you guys out. What things would you change as a family, okay? Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see what you guys are rocking with. Let's go ahead and see what you guys are rocking with. All right, we're seeing um, 
RC, you said you applied. RC, I will reach out to you after this for the six spots we have in our one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Um, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see what other suggestions you guys have as a family. The blender is oversaturated. The blender is not oversaturated. The only thing that's oversaturated is advertisements. Write this down for me right now because I want to be the first person to tell you guys that what your other people are telling you are completely wrong. Okay? No product is ever saturated. Only advertisements. Only advertisements. You want to win in this game? You want to be great? You can sell any product that you want. But 95% of your success is going to come from your ad. Once they come to your actual product page, 95% of your success is going to come from your product page. Because if they don't buy from there, they're going to either leave or they're going to go or the 5% is going to go to your general store. Okay? To your home page. Amir, you said you applied. Amir, that is two people. Okay? We have four spots left that can apply. Let me know real quick and I will, uh, for anybody else who has applied. No product is ever saturated, only advertisements. As a family, other things I would change. I would have a problem-solving statement right here. Not just blend anywhere, but a problem-solving statement. Let me show you guys something real quick to please just help you guys out a lot. What if I just told you that I could come over here, I could copy this. I want to show you guys something real quick, Michelle, please, and, and, and Trendy, right? If you don't know what to say, use your re sources come over here type in here make this a bet create me let's do this create me a problem solving statement in less than two sentences on why someone would want to buy and then put the product in and let's see what comes up okay Struggling to maintain a healthy diet while on the go? An electric portable blender allows you to whip up a nutritious, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I could do a regenerate response and get a different one. Having a hectic schedule, you often miss out on nutritious smoothies because preparing them at home is time consuming. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather do that than blend everywhere. <laughs> if you would take one of these over this, drop a number one. If you would take this over one of these, drop a number two. Because that's literally how fast and how simple you guys can do this. Like, I use ChatGPT all day long. Okay? Now, like I said, I would start off with, like, a GIF or image right here. Um, you don't have really any GIFs in here, so I would throw some in there. Um, highlight your features and benefits a little bit better. Um, ad reviews. I like this, but it's basically the same product. So I would do something else um, that you can actually upsell with. I would make my sticky add to cart button white um, or the color of your store, which could be blue. Um, this is where I would take advantage of it. All right. Let's keep moving. ChatGPT be, be saving lives, y'all. I swear. Again, guys, giveaway winner is in five minutes. In five minutes. Okay, I'm going to post this down below for you guys one more time. And again, we have four spots now left after the two people have applied for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you have applied and you have not said anything, let me know down below, okay? Let's go ahead and get another store going. Let's go. Uh, Nita, okay? Nita, I will reach out to you, okay? Nita, I will reach out to you right after this. I will go through it. What other stores do you guys have for me? What other stores do you guys have for me? Let's go ahead and do best newborn care. All right. We got it. Let's go ahead and keep moving. If you guys keep dropping your store down below, we can keep taking advantage of it. All I'm going to do is just go to the main product that you're selling. You guys want to know something real quick? You guys want to see something real quick? You guys want to see something funny real quick? Watch this. What if I told you guys... What if I told you guys... Okay. Let's go ahead and do it together. What if I told you guys? Hmm. What if I told you guys? Um, I might know someone who sold this product. Um. Yeah, beige. Uh. Again, change the images around. I would simplify this down to one word. Um. I would make this just portable baby bed. Um. I want to name all this other stuff right here. You can highlight the features and benefits in the actual description. 
Um, I like how your selling price matches the store itself. I like how it's black, white, and one separate color. Um, again, images should be all congruent. This is a pretty good uh, image right here um, for Pink Bear, Blue Bear, but I would just upsell with this, right? I would just upsell. I wouldn't really um, add it. You want to keep all your variants the same for right here, okay? You want to keep all your variants the same right here. Um, description, I don't really like this where I got to pull it down. I'm going to be real for you. Um, I don't really like the pull down description. Um, so I would probably change this theme up a little bit. Um, I would change this whole description up if I'm going to be real with you. Start off with the main problem that they have. Okay. This is not bad, but, um, you could definitely do a little bit better. You want to be bolding a couple words. It's just a little hard to read. Okay, it's a little hard to read. You don't have anything on here like a quantity break by discount. You don't have any frequently bought together. You don't have a custom currency converter on here. You do have some reviews, but I think you could do it a lot better. I mean, it literally just says shopper. Um, so I would definitely customize my reviews, make them actually the name of the people itself, um, and put in that put in that work. Okay. Put in that work. That's something I would do. I might do. I I might know someone, T Mac. I might know someone, my boy. I might know someone. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see another story y'all got for me, man. I enjoy this. If you guys are learning a lot today, drop a number one, okay? And and drop me what your biggest feedback and takeaway is. What have you learned today? That's what I care about. Did you show up on this live Q and A and you actually learn something? If you did, drop a number one, but more importantly, tell me what some of your t uh, takeaways are, okay? Let me know some of your guys' takeaways and some of the things that you guys have done, all right? Let's check this out. My boy, Young Bliss, all right? My boy come in here. He got Bliss Jens. That might, that might be his nickname he runs with, right? Bliss Jens, okay. All right, Bliss. Let's go ahead and check out what you got for me, my boy. Let's go to the product page. So... Logo, I would probably make this a little bit lower. One thing I want to make sure you guys all understand is that also, okay, I know I've been saying the word 95% a lot, okay, but there's three things that you guys should write down. 95% of your success is going to come from your ad. 95% of your traffic is going to come to your product page and either buy or leave. And then 95% of your consumers are going to be mobile. Okay. So if you wrote those things down, say, I have wrote those things down. There's three 95% rules. But just so you guys know, the number one way that you should always look at your store is always going to be here mobile. Always going to be mobile. See, this is what I mean by quantity discount. Okay? But my boy, I would probably recommend definitely like, I would probably do the percents off. Okay? Okay? Icy Inc. just say you just rolled in the university. Congratulations, Icy. Congratulations and uh, welcome to the family. Okay, this countdown timer. This countdown timer. Get rid of it, please. Get rid of the countdown timer like yesterday. Okay, this is not 2018, not 2019 drop shipping. Get rid of this. Okay, I would make this buy two get 15, buy four get 20, buy six buy 25. Something with a percentage off. Percentage off is a lot better than people trying to do the math with this because think about it, then they're going to have to be like, okay, 94 99 let me multiply that by two. Um, frequently bought together, I like that, okay? I like that you guys have uh, things that upsell with the main things that you're selling. All of these products definitely go well with this, okay? Mobile is mobile version, meaning like on your phone, okay? So if you want to know what it looks like, okay, come over here, click on inspect. See this little dot up here? You can now see what it looks like mobile. Okay. Now, next thing I want to make sure is this big trust badge thing right here. This is not 2018. This is not 2019 drop shipping. Get rid of this trust badge as well. Okay. The countdown timers, the trust badges, all this stuff, get rid of it. This is not helping you. It's hurting you. Okay. Because guess what? When I look at real brands, when I go to... Fashion Nova, and I go to Kylie's Lip Kit, and I go to Walmart, and I go to Target. They don't have countdown timers. They don't have guaranteed safe checkouts. Why? Because they are a legitimate online business. And if you want customers to think that you are a legitimate online business, you should mock the same thing. Simplicity 
always does more. And I would definitely improve on my reviews a little bit, all right? Let's go ahead and get one more store out, okay? And then I'm about to choose the giveaway winner, y'all. I'm about to choose the giveaway winner. I'm excited, okay? I am excited. Hope you guys are ready for it. Okay, hope you guys are ready for it. Let's go ahead and get one more store real quick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knock out uh, Ivan. We're going to go ahead and knock my boy out real quick. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. Um, ha, ha, ha. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. Okay. I like the image. I mean, this is actually a pretty decent image. I'm not going to lie. Um, logo could be a little bit bigger just on your homepage, but let's just go ahead and check out what you're rocking with. Uh, what's the main product that you're selling? Um, I don't know what a main product is you're selling. Let's do this one, I guess, because this is a feature product. Um, selling price and compare price. You need to have a selling price and a compare price. Um, one thing I would do is simplify this style down. Way too many options. Way, 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 way too many options. I never go over four variants. Like I never go over like four, maybe even like max, like five to six. I wouldn't really go over that. You already know what I'm going to say about the product description. It needs a lot of work when it comes to the visuals as well as the fonts, as well as the bold text and more. All this needs to go. Um, the reviews are decent. Could be longer reviews um, and more. But overall, I like the black, white, one separate color. Um, it seems like you have uh, a sticky add to cart on there. I like that. You have this on there. I like that. Um, besides that, your product description is going to be your main focus, okay? Main, main, main focus. So I hope that you guys are ready to be able to take advantage of that. By the way, guys, I can only hit so many people in here. But like I said, if you guys smash the like button down below, I will be giving out another giveaway winner to also hop on a one-on-one -on -one call with you. And also, guys, we take advantage of this with all of our students, okay? So if you want help, you want to be taking advantage of this, you want to see what you can be taking, uh, getting help with, we have uh, multiple services available for you guys, okay? Multiple services available for you guys, and you just have to take advantage of what's out there. All right, let me see how many likes we're at right now because I told you guys we're going to be doing this once this video reaches 250 likes. We can even do – so make sure you smash that like button down below. Let's go ahead and get into the giveaway winner though, all right? You guys ready for it? I'm going to go ahead and move myself over real quick, okay? Get into the giveaway winner. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm going to refresh my screen one more time. By the way, I hope to hear from you guys after this, okay? I hope to hear from you guys after this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, have Supreme Ecom drop the Discord link over for you guys, the mentorship link for you guys, so you guys can check it all out. If you guys enjoyed this today, let me know some of your guys' takeaways down below, all right? And you guys can ask some questions down below as well that we can answer, okay? Let me know. Ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh, didn't land on a Wi-Fi.